fuck with him. I know it's her job to help this guy and everything, but I think this guy's a lost cause. He's obviously made up his mind. Why don't we just cut our losses and get out of here? Got a wizard money gang. We love casting spells. I've never made a video like this. I've never ever made a video like this and I've never even considered the fact that I would ever have to make a video like this. I would never want to make a video like this. It's, oh, what's happening? <laughs> Apex Legends, this game that we love so much. If you watch my channel, you know that I've been playing Apex for four years since season two, a long time. I'm playing Apex for a long time. And it's the first game I ever switched to mouse and keyboard for and have fallen in love with the FPS genre on mouse and keyboard and getting better and all the ups and downs of every new season. I've rode the wave and enjoyed it every second. And even when a lot of people were turning against the game or a lot of people were bored of the game or didn't like it, I loved it still. My passion was still high. I stream every single day and I play Apex every single day on stream and I play it for hours every day and I love the game. I would even play it off stream, but there are certain things that have happened that have bothered me that I haven't really spoken out on. But today, for the first time, there's been a change that was announced directly from Apex. This is not a leak. I personally, I, I can't stand leaks. I hate leaks. I think leaks take the fun out of like when things new come to the game, like new things come to the game. I hate leaks. This is not a leak. This is directly from Apex. Play Apex tweeted today uh, on July 8th, this morning, um, what's coming to 20, season 22. So next season, we're currently in season 21, next season of Apex Legends, specifically around the Battle Pass. I do want to say this before anything. Yes, I am a member of the EA Creator Network and have done partnerships with Apex in the past and would love to do more partnerships in the future if things look a little bit different than what they look now you guys know if you've seen my past couple of videos i've been flown out to los angeles to the respawn headquarters to spend time there i i love the devs over there i know a couple of them on a personal basis genuinely great people but i don't know where their or ea or any bosses minds that they have came up with this idea and why is it becoming a thing in the past i have come to defense of apex when it comes to things like cosmetics because in my opinion cosmetics are not a make or break big of a deal like Apex doesn't have anything behind a paywall. You can access every part of the game without spending a dime, every weapon, every legend, playing ranked versus playing pubs versus playing mixed, everything, nothing is behind a paywall. Is there a time consumption to it? Of course you have to grind in order to unlock things like legends, but outside of that, you just play the game, it's completely free, you have a great time. So obviously cosmetics have to be a thing because the company has to make money, the game has to make money to sustain, of course. And let's not forget, this is a game owned and operated by ea who owns respawn entertainment and ea is known in all across all of their games for microtransactions whether or not you like it i'm not going to say i'm a fan of it but at the end of the day if apex can stay free for people who can't afford to buy games and they fall in love with this game i love that for the game i love that for gaming i love that for this game and yes there's been some extreme cases where very expensive uh events have come out to get uh heirlooms like one-time heirlooms and heirloom skins and yes and tons of skins and all this stuff and i haven't even even as a content creator you would think oh he buys all of them i don't even buy all of them i can't always afford all of them when i can it's cool it's nice it's fun but that's not where the content in the game is we just had solos great content we have quads in the game right now i'm not the biggest fan of the game mode but that's content stuff happening in the game changing evolving content new ranked rewards new ranked system that's content brand new game modes and new ltms that you've never seen that's content to me skins aren't content it's a skins are a part of the whole ideology behind a free-to-play game so buying a battle pass or not buying a battle pass not a big deal to me in the past this for the first time in my opinion has put a huge red flag and a huge dampening on the consumer's point of view in playing apex legends this is it the brand new battle pass coming in season 22 they tweeted this morning Starting with Season 22, we're evolving Apex Legends Battle Pass to improve your experiences and progression goals. Read to learn everything to know about the upcoming changes. Check out the info graphic. This is it. This is the full breakdown. So they compared the old Battle Pass versus the new Battle Pass. So the free Battle Pass. So if you guys didn't know if you play Apex, you, even if you don't buy the Battle Pass, you do have free rewards that unlock as you level up through tiers because you do unlock tiers as you go on, even for free. So you had 110 levels, obviously. You would get 200 Apex coins for free and seven total packs in the game for free you never had to spend a dime you can get any of these things right the new version there's 60 levels not 110 60 you still get 200 apex coins you still get seven packs uh you get a bonus one epic character skin one epic weapon skin and one epic standing emote so it's double the rewards from the old 
but it's only half of the levels. I'll explain why that's a thing in a minute. Now you go to the premium version. So the one that you paid for, the, the what you paid for with Apex coins specifically, it cost 950 Apex coins. So in buying the old one, you would gain 1300 Apex coins from the battle pass that you spent. Meaning if you never spent coins on anything, you could always re-up your battle pass every single season without spending any money if you bought the battle pass one time. I know that tons of people have done that. Spent nine out like spent nine dollars on coins, ten dollars on coins to get nine hundred fifty coins. Bought one battle pass and was able to unlock every single battle pass as time went on because of the coins that you got from the first battle pass. That's not possible anymore. That leaves a bad taste in a lot of not just creators, people who play this game full time like myself as a job, but people who are fans of Apex. This does not leave a good taste in their mouth. So all the time, like I said, you get thirteen hundred coins. 1,200 crafting medals, 10 exotic shards. I just added that last season or this last season. 14 packs total, two legendary skins, one legendary weapon skin, one reactive skin, and one reactive variant. So you got two reactive skins at the end of the game. You guys know how the battle pass works now. It's been it's been the same way practically with little bitty changes, but the same thing for years at this point. <sighs> so this was every season. So you'd buy 950 coins, buy the battle pass. The battle pass was 110 levels. That was the whole season. You never had to buy anything else again. This is the new version, the new premium. Every half season. So you guys know we have like a mid-season up update where the rank split changes and there's updates to the game nerfs buffs sometimes adding new things here and there whatever maybe ltms now the battle pass is new every rank split every halfway split through the season every mid-season update <laughs> there's a new battle pass to buy and and in order to get that battle pass you have to spend nine dollars and 99 cents not 950 apex coins you can no longer spend apex coins on the battle pass you have to buy them with money every time so for ten dollars you get 60 levels so you get half of the season's worth of the battle pass in that you get 1300 apex coins 2400 crafting materials so they did double the crafting materials still 10 exotic shards 17 packs so three extra packs and then plus on top of that three uh legend thematic packs which we do get that thematic packs pretty often in the game organically through events and stuff like that that you can get for free now you get two legendary character skins one legendary weapon skin one reactive skin for half the battle pass for ten dollars so once the first half of the season is up you spend ten dollars the second half is in to buy the second half of the battle pass it's another ten dollars that is a twenty dollar battle pass for an entire season you have to spend every season from now on now, with this being said, yes, everything is still cosmetic only. Nothing in the actual game is behind a paywall. So you still have full access to rank. You still have full access to pubs. You still have full access to mi access to mix mixtape, full access to mixtape and every other LTM that's coming in the game, full access to the legends, full access to everything. The only thing you don't have access to is the battle pass. There's a bunch of gameplay issues that are not being addressed that we deal with on a daily basis. Yet when they do address us, they tell us it's time to spend more money on the game in order to get the things that we've been doing and having for five years in a battle pass. But before I get ahead of myself, before I get ahead of myself, the premium plus tier. So you could buy the premium bundle before, pretty much it would just give you 25 level skips. You'd buy, it's the exact same battle pass. You could just buy the first 25 levels instead of having to grind all the way through. Personally, I've never done that. I play the game every day. I just buy the normal 950 coin battle pass and just grind through it and be done with it in honestly two weeks and just have the stuff for the rest of the season. But for people who didn't have the same amount of time to get through the battle pass, they could buy a premium and get more levels, right? That was it. Now the new premium plus that you have to buy every half season is $20. It is $19.99. I don't see a single option that would allow me to buy the whole battle pass for the whole season. So if I wanted the premium plus for both for all of season 22, I would have to spend $40. And what you get different, you get 10 level skips, still 1300 Apex coins, 2400 crafting materials, 20 exotic shards, four 17 packs plus three legendary packs, two legendary skins. Or two legendary character skins, one legendary weapon skin, one reactive skin, two premium plus legendary character skin variants, all legends playable during the battle pass duration. Forty dollars. Now listen, I'm gonna get I'm a I'm gonna do something I've never done on 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 YouTube ever in my entire and you can cut this Dobby if you want to if it doesn't fill out the video, but this makes me emotional. <laughs> this frustrates me as an Apex creator beyond belief because I love this game. Like, I really, 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 really love this game. I love the friends that I've made from this game. I love the environment that this game has cre created in the realm of being a creator. I love uh, 
how interactive and entertaining this game can be at the at high levels. I love how fresh it feels when a new player gets on. I love so many things. I love the characters, the the weapon play. I love the movement. I love the skill gap. I love getting knowing that I can get better every day in so many different manners. Everything from just pubs to high level rank to low level rank to high level rank to competitive. All these tournaments and stuff that I've done. I love this game, which means I don't want it to die. I don't want it to go away. I don't want it for lack of a better term, to shoot itself in the foot. And that is what this feels like right now. We are in a absolute epidemic of cheaters in Apex Legends right now. From pubs, I had, when Souls was out, I was running to cheaters in solos every day. In ranked, it's horrible, especially when you're a higher ranked player. Currently, myself, I'm on the pred push at the beginning of this split of this rank, this rank season, season 21. It's, we're only we're not that far into the split, and I'm on the pred ground right now. But I'm worried that every day I'm gonna get on and have a horrible time because I'm dying to cheaters. Last split, the first split of season 21 was almost unplayable, so much so that I at least hit masters almost every single split of the game. I quit playing at Diamond Four, which I haven't done in years. Because it was unplayable. Every game. I played, I counted. Seven games in a row, me and my team died to cheaters. Seven games in a row. My biggest issue with cheaters is the punishment coming to cheaters. Because even if Apex or any dev for any game cranks out a brand new anti-cheat, it doesn't take long for cheaters who don't have any sort of doors to open and close to get access to this information can break it. Super fast. If you look across all multiplayer games right now, online multiplayer games, there's cheaters in all of them. Obviously, it's a huge problem, but we can't have, as consumers and players of the game, we can't have no real changes to the fact that our game is being infested and almost unplayable and get no feedback or information from the devs about the game, then to get smacked with a $40 season battle pass. $40 battle pass. So what we're hearing from you is, we don't really know what to do about the cheater situation. Can't change it. It sucks, but the best part of the game is being absolutely tainted. But next season, we're up in the cost. And I don't I don't quite think that the people behind this decision, I'm not going to say the devs because I don't know who it is. And I don't want to disrespect or call out anybody individually or harm, but when we see a problem with something that you love, you have to address it. There has to be change. Something has to change here. To see a $40 battle pass right after the worst cheater, like the worst cheating season we've ever seen in the history of this game, feels like a slap to the face as a player. I do know that this is completely different departments in EA and Respawn, but at the end of the day, it's all coming down to the players. The players is what matters the most. And the moment that the players get treated like a, 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 a wallet only, the game is going to die. It's 2024. People know when they're being gypped. And right now, it feels like a, as an Apex player, someone who loves this game, we're being gypped a little bit. Am I being dramatic? Maybe. As a person who's who plays this game as a job and who really loves and cares about it the way that I do and have had so many amazing experiences around this game, I could be being a little bit dramatic right now. I could be a little emotional because seeing this feels so bad. And I don't think that the people at Respawn and Apex kind of realize that the player base is not going to be happy and we're probably going to lose even more players. And this past season on Steam alone, obviously, like I don't, I don't know about console. I don't play on console, so. But the player count on Steam is the lowest it's been in years. And my biggest worry is that it's gonna keep going down because of decisions like this. So please, Apex, I'm begging you guys. I love you. We love you. We love this game. People talk about this game because they care about it, because they enjoy it, because they have the passion to get better, to have fun, to play with their friends, and maybe even compete and be in a position to make a living off of it. But doing stuff like giving us a $40 battle pass when we can barely play the game because of cheaters, it's a travesty. It's a travesty. I don't know how to put it any other way. Thank you for listening to my Yap session. I hope something changes with Apex. Let me know down below in the comments, how do you feel? My fellow people who love this game, you got to feel as hurt as I do because this doesn't make any sense to me. Let me know how you feel in the comments below. Thanks for checking out this video and taking your time. Have a great day. Peace.